for more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com. Well, welcome back to our basic series on uh, creating CSS. And in our last videos, we've talked about creating tag styles and class styles and doing a variety of things. And right now, what I want to focus on a little bit is how to call out colors inside of CSS. Now, there are actually three different ways to do that. Um, you can call out the color um, with its RGB values. You can call out the color with um, just color codes, like you could say red, green, blue. Or you can use the hexadecimal um, version of a color code. And the hexadecimal color, uh, the hexadecimal color code is the most common way to call out colors. Now, you can call out colors in hexadecimal in one of two formats. One's a three-digit format, and the other is a six-digit format. And let's first talk about the uh, six-digit format. If I have CSS style, and let's just, I'm just going to go ahead and type here. Let's say I have the value color there. And then after that, I'm going to put a number sign, and then I'm going to have three digits. Or I'm going to have, I'm sorry, I'm going to have six digits. And those digits are divided into three sets of two. So I have two characters here, two characters here, and two characters here. Whatever characters are here represents the red value of the color. Whatever two characters are here represents the green value of the color. And whatever two digits are here represents the blue value. And these digits can be any value from 0 to the value f. Since this is hexadecimal, we number things 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And then 10 is represented with the letter A, 11 is represented with B, so on and so forth. So these values can be anywhere from 0 all the way through F. Now, think of 0 as turning things all the way off. So if I have the color code, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. That's the absence of all color. So that's going to end up being black. And let's go ahead and see that. I'm actually going to delete what I've typed here. And I'm going to change this to that value. So my sample text, and actually I'm going to make it much larger so we can see it really easily there. So I'm going to go ahead and save my style sheet and then open up the basic HTML page and you're going to see there's the text that's formatted with this style and this color. Now again I said that these two digits represent the red, these two digits represent the um, green, and the final two digits whoops, represent the blue. You need to make sure you get all your digits in there. So if I wanted something to be bright red, I would want to turn the red values up all the way and leave the green and the blue values turned down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it all the way up. Now that's not 99, although that will give you a color of red. Turning something all the way up is actually FF. You know, remember this is hexadecimal. So I made that change. I'm going to go ahead and save my changes. And now when I look at my HTML document, you'll see there is my text and there's the color. So coming back here, let's say I wanted a really bright green. That would be represented by these two digits here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type 00 for the red value and then FF for the green and then again 00 for the blue. I'll save it and now I should get something that's bright green. And finally the last two digits are blue so I'll zero out the greens and put two F's into the blue area of the code. I'll save my change 
and then there's some blue text. And depending on what the way you um, put combinations in here will depend on the exact color. Like I'm going to go ahead and say, let's see what 9933FF would do. I'll go ahead and save that. Yeah, come back to basic and oh, it turned it purple. And with a little bit of practice, you can kind of guess what the different colors will be. But again, one of the advantages of using Dreamweaver is you don't have to guess. If you're actually entering it in, you can just go ahead and click on color. And then you can choose any of the codes. Now you're going to notice here that I'm just getting three digits right up here. And that's because the 255 colors that are represented here are called web safe colors. And these are the basic colors that older browsers can display. Now it used to be important to use one of these basic colors in here, but it's really not anymore. So you can actually come here to the uh, color wheel and you can select any color you want at all. And there I've got that color. When I click OK, it put in the hexadecimal color code that corresponds with that. So that's another feature that, another reason why you'd want to get uh, Dreamweaver for your HTML coding. But several other um, products do do that as well. So that's the way these hexadecimal color codes work. Now, again, I said there were other ways to um, label colors. One, of, Probably the most common other way is to actually type in a value here. Like I could type in blue, for instance, and um, save that. And when we come over here, you don't see it's blue. Or I could type red in here and then save it. and now the text is red. The problem is, you know, the terms red, blue, green, you know, that's not very specific. And depending on what browser you're in, you may get a slightly different color. So you're always going to want to use an actual color code there. And let's say if I wanted um, a medium red, it might be 990000. And then when I save that, That'll be a slightly darker version of the, of the red that I was using. So that's just about everything you need to know about using colors or typing color codes into CSS. Also, if you're interested in seeing the high definition 1280 by 720 videos, please go to createthenet.com. When we upload these videos to video sharing services, they always shrink the video size down and decrease the quality so they come out a little bit fuzzy. If you go to the website, you can see the full resolution versions of these videos.